So this one's going to be about injury. I broke my leg, my fibula, on the 2nd of January, right after New Year. And so I had to go straight into a cast, and I've been having it on for the past few weeks now. Month, almost. It sucks, but what I realized is, at the start, when something like this happens, you have a decision to make. Because it's very easy to just say, well, I broke my whatever, I'm injured now, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do whatever. But in most cases, if you're done with your injury and you're all back to perfect health, you'll find that you'll think back and how much progress you've lost, how much time you've lost, in what a negative way your life has spiraled in the time that you were injured. That then when you're healed up again, you'll think, damn, I should have done more. Damn, I could have done this. And I don't know. When you have these hard times, it's easy to let them drag you down all the way to the bottom. It's easy to let them absolutely twirl your mindset into the negative and spiral down. But you can also make something positive out of it. It's very empowering to be doing stuff that nobody else would be doing with an injury and kind of taking pride in that, that you're still out there and you're still giving it your all even though you're injured. And you'll come out being stronger, 100%. Mm, fucking dogs are being loud. You're loud. And I hate you. And you deserve nothing. You deserve pain, agony, torture, torment, punishment. I hate you. You're my least favorite dog in the room. I like this one. Anyways. Oh shit, it's all the way in. Fuck. How do I... This camera shit is hard, dog. Anyways, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's that kind of stuff that really brings you thinking about how you've been dealing with life because parents teach you, hey, you're sick, stay at home, rest until you get good again. But in reality, it's under your own control how much effort and progress you have in those kind of times, especially in those hard times. And it really makes you a lot stronger as a person. Like I said, it's easy to let those hard times push you in and, and you have those thoughts like, oh, I'm hurt, I can't do this, I can't do that, I, I'm i hurt, blah, blah, blah. But it, in the end, it is excuses, right? Just because something's harder, you're not going to do it. Of course, you shouldn't be destroying your body. You need to heal and everything, but I broke my leg. I can still train my upper body, right? People say it's stupid. People have been telling me that I'm irresponsible and everything. And I see that, but I think that it's just... I don't want to say a mainstream opinion, but it's like, I don't feel like I have to rest my upper body. I don't feel like I need to be at home laying in bed all the time. I don't think that's good for me either. Of course, don't injure yourself even more. I think that goes without saying. I hope everybody knows that's not my point. But you have so much power to really decide or dictate into what trajectory your life's going to take in the way that you're going to deal with this um, hard situation. And so you can let it go to waste or you can really make something out of it. So if you're dealing with something right now, something physical, I guess, because I think mental is something different, try to be real with yourself and realize how honest you're being with yourself and how, yeah, how real you're being with yourself about how limited you really are in your options and the effort you're able to put in. You gotta stay strong. You gotta be real with yourself, cause you'll regret it later if you're not. You, people always think, well, nobody will know. I, I was hurt, but I could have done more. You will know. That's the thing, and that's the worst. You will know you could have done more, and you will be the one beating you up for it most. Anyways, have a good one, guys. I'll see you some other time. I don't fucking know what the fucking outros are annoying and dumb.